hope you're doing well welcome back to another video so um i set myself the limit of hauling only 15 books in the first quarter of the year i didn't um <laughs> i think i've hauled maybe like just over 50 <gasps> Yeah, it's it's a, it's not right. It's a problem, and I will do better in quarter two. I tell myself that, but um, I haven't really done like a haul in like at all this year because I wasn't really planning to buy books or at least a lot of them. But so anyway, here is the issue. Here lies a problem. I've got like just piles and piles. <laughs> Of books and books and books um, and I thought instead of just doing like a, just a general haul oh this is what I got here's where it's from um, I th thought I would rank the books by their opening line um, and just to make it a little bit different so um, where shall we start we'll start with the only one of the two I've read um, one Love by Matt Cain. With Guy at his side, Danny walked along Princess Street until he arrived at the bottom of Canal Street. Honestly, don't tell me. It doesn't really tell me anything. It's just that do we have two characters and they're walking. So that is just... I, 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 it's going to be hard to show you. You can sort of see it. Anyway, what have we got next? Here the Whole Time by Victor Martins. I am fat. <laughs> That's how it starts. Honestly, I mean, relatable. Um, I mean, it doesn't really tell me anything, so it's going to go under one love. Cafe Con Le Lychee by Emery Lee. They say your life flashes before your eyes just before you die, but let me make something perfectly clear. Whoever's in charge of that clip better not include a single effing shot of Gabriel Moreno or I'm pressing charges. Okay, so clearly this person hates Gabriel Marino. Um, I didn't expect a YA book to start with, you know, the F-bomb, but okay. Um, honestly, it gives me more about it than One Love, so there you go. I mean, What Belongs to You by Garth Greenwall. That my first encounter with, me, with Mitko B ended in a betrayal, even a minor one, should have given me greater warning at the time, which should in turn have made my desire for him less, if not done away with it completely. Okay, that is great. I love that, because like, you instantly get like, okay, their first meeting ended with betrayal, um, and he wants to like, love him less or whatever. Yeah, I love that. That was really, really good. Have Every Drops is a Man's Nightmare by Megan Kameli Kakimoto. Um, this is like a Japanese Hawaiian book. Um, it just sounds really, really good. Um, okay. Is it? It's possibly short story. I'm not sure. Um, okay, the first one is Don't Sleep With Your Feet By The Door. That's all it says. Honestly, I'm not getting much from it. Uh, that is probably going to go at the bottom. <laughs> Behind I Am Fat. Um, Fairy Tales for Lost Children by Diary Osman. I have spent my whole life living near the coast of Bosasso, Somalia. Again, I, that doesn't tell me much. Um, just where they spent their childhood. He's second before last. But I think the book is going to be amazing. I have White Nights by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Um, I have quite a few translated words, but I'm, I'm not going to say the translated just now. Um, I will when I actually read the book. Um, uh, it was a wonderful night, the night, the kind of night, dear reader, which is only possible when we are young. Okay, that is great. I love that. That is going second, I think. We have a memoir, All Down Darkness Wide by Sean Hewitt. I literally just flicking through this. I got it from a charity shop and I saw that it is a signed edition, which I never even knew when I got it, which is fun. Um, the Oratory of St. James's Cemetery in Liverpool has no windows along the whole length of its outer walls. Okay. <laughs> I put that second before last. Sorry, Sean, but I, th I think that's going to be a, a great memoir. I just know it, but this is going to be because they're all different sizes as well. So, like, it's just going to be such a mess, but whatever. Uh, then we have Her Last Holiday by C.L. Taylor. 
Fran's rage has reached boiling point. Yeah, I like I like that. Um, I mean it's okay. I think it's just it's just ahead of I am fat, but not as good as the two ones. Walking down Princess Street. Um, then we have Veronica Ross's chosen ones. This is pretty addition. It was it was a pound. In um, I don't know Primark. Primark. Oh, of course not Primark. Um, what's his name? Um, it's like got it up. I don't really know anything much about it. It's just like I think it's a fancy something like that. Okay, come along. Oh look, we have a map. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, it's like ex ex skirts. Ex is that that's not well. The first thing is an excerpt. Ex expert excerpt. I've got a question for you. How the f did we end up with the name Dark One anyway? Yeah, I think that that is that's quite a good opening line to be honest. Um, yeah, I think there. Ruby waxes. I'm not as well as I thought I was. Those of bangs. So I'm guessing I'm gonna count that and then also what the actual first line is. This was the only sound I could hear each day while getting a treatment called repetitive transcranial magnetic simul simulation. Okay. I mean that sort of makes me a bit. I don't know. Concerned. Like all she's hearing is bang, 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 bang. There, yeah. RuPaul's The House of Hidden Meanings. Um, it still feels like summer when I arrive in Atlanta late in September. That stifling humidity just starting to give way to the first hint of fall. Can you see there? What am I doing? This is a mess. This is such a mess, this video. But we move. Uh, in Pandora's Jar, Women in Greek Myths by Natalie Haynes. When Harry Hamlin stood behind a pillar in the darkness of Medusa's lair in the Ray Harry Harryhausen film Clash of the Titans, flames flickered off his shield, his face glistening with sweat. My brother and I were transfixed. Oh, that is my brain is not computing <laughs> just ahead of i'm fat <laughs> i keep going back to that one <laughs> Patty smith's just kids i was asleep when he died okay well that sounds yeah no i like that well i don't like it but you know i think it's a good it's a very good start um Why have I even started doing this? I think I might do this. I think I'm going to put it down. One last song by Nathan Evans. Well, get her. Hair to shoulder, legs forward, precipitous platforms, and a placard proclaiming gay, gay liberation. Behind P Patty Smith. And Mr. Tom by Michelle Magorian. I've started reading this. I'm not that far in. I'm like... 24 page oh i'm in the middle of a chapter ew i don't know where i am yes said tom bluntly on opening the front door i mean it didn't tell me nothing at all to be honest you just said yes and open the door uh bluntly so i guess like maybe he's not the nicest character i don't know the woman warrior by maxine hong kingston you must not tell anyone my mother said what i'm about to tell you okay that that's a very, very good opening line. I'm like, I'm here for it. I want to continue. Just behind White Knights. Notes from Childhood by Nora Lang. I thought it was a novel when I picked it up. Sort of. It was a pound in Waterstone. So I was like, oh, that's not good. I like international translated fiction. It sounded interesting. But then afterwards, it's actually non-fiction. But... I like a memoir, but I still want to read, obviously. Um, flickering and joyous, broken by only a single night, the first journey we made from Buenos Aires to Mendoza emerges from my memory like a landscape recovered through a misted pane of glass. That is beautiful. Oh my God, that is such beautiful writing. That is, that is, yeah, that is number one at the moment. That was really, that was a good start. That was a very, very good start. Uh, then the Dead Poets Society by N. H. Kleinbaum. Um, I've never watched a film, 
and I've never read the book, so I think I was gonna I was gonna do a read and then watching this. I think this is taken from the film instead of the other way around. So I thought that was quite interesting because it's usually that doesn't happen. Um, inside this inside the stone chapel of Welton Academy, a private school nestled in the remote hills of Vermont. More than 300 boys, all wearing that academy blazer, sat on either side of the long aisle, surrounded by proud-faced parents, and waited. Okay. So you're getting, like, the setting. What are they waiting for? Yeah, I think that's, that's not a too bad start. They go there. So, about eighth. We have Gather the Daughters by Jenny Melamad. Um, I got this um, in, like, a... A mystery bag. Um, I still need to read it, obviously. Um, Vanessa dreams she is a grown woman, heavy with flesh and care. It's an interesting start. Heavy with flesh and care. Above, one love. The poetry books that I've pulled. I'm not going to do this to because I don't really know how to actually do it because obviously they're poems, like they're not the whole book. Uh, but we have Holly McNash's Plum, The Orange and Other Poems by Wendy Cope, and this one I'm so excited for is Witch by Rebecca Tamas. Um, so I just thought I'd show you them, but I'm not going to rank them. Even Glitter Boy by Ian Eagleton. It's Monday and the first day of term when it happens. Okay, what happens? I'm intrigued, but it's not like amazing. Just above, I am fat. Uh, the Rift Songbirds by Christy Lefferteri. One day, Nisha vanished and turned to gold. Okay, that, that is a start. I'm like, wow. Like, it, it's, it's not meant to be, um, like, fantasy or anything. That sounds actually really good. Just Below, Just Kids. The Murder After the Night Before by Katie Brent. Like a email or something. Um, hey, you guys and gals. I mean, should I go to the next one? Christmas is just around the corner and we're ready to celebrate tonight. It's not really given much, to be honest. There. Night Shift by Claire Ladner. At its peak, my obsession with her was like a foe, was, was like a form of self-harm, a private source of pain and comfort. That sets the tone amazingly. I thought that was a really, really good opening. I love that. Just Below White Nights. Project Nought by... Chesley Ferretti. Um I don't know. I'll see what they say. No, I can't really do anything with that, but I got that anyway. We have Young Women by Jessica Moore. Um, I watched her film last night. That was that's all it says. I can't really go along anymore. So I watched her film last night. Okay. Doesn't really tell. I think that's going at the bottom, to be honest. With the list of suspicious things by Jenny Godfrey. This I cannot wait for. I'm just so scared of the size because I'm not a big book. It's like just, it's like 450 pages or something. But yeah, um, it would be easy to say that it all began with the murders, but actually it began with when Margaret Thatcher became prime minister. That is great. That is that is great because like you're so intrigued. You're like, well, okay, there's murders, but also like. Why did Maggie cause the start of this story? Just below White Knights again, you know. Kmos is Red Queens and Quite Revolutionaries. Um, I have read this. It's one of the only two I've read. Began with my first edition of Lady into Woman, a history of women from Victoria to Elizabeth II by Vera Britton. Stumbled upon in a second-hand bookshop. Yeah, I like that. Like, it's setting the tone. Like, she, that's like... Because if you know, like, you can sort of understand that it's about non-fiction, about women um, in history, I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, I think that sets it quite well. I think just ahead of I Am Not As Well As I Thought. 14 Days, um, edited by Margaret Atwood and Douglas Preston, um, with the creative endeavours of all these people. Um, I was going to start this on the 31st of March and read it, like, in real time, but I've already gone over that now, so I can't. 
But I still obviously want to read it. I'm not going to wait a whole year to read it. Well, I mean, I might, but <laughs> I've done it before. I'm going to read the note from the Authors Guild Foundation as the start of the book because I want to. And it's better than the actual start of the book, which is just, which just says, call me 1A. And I think this has more potential than that. Um, you are holding in your hands a novel that is both singular and extraordinary. Yeah, like, I'm just old. Like, if someone tells me that, I'm like, yes, please, tell me more, tell me more. It's behind Songbirds. Love of Singular Men by Victor Haringa. This sounds amazing. I need to start it. In the beginning, our planet was hot, sickly yellow, and stank of stale beer. I don't like that start to be honest <laughs> um but it's set in the scene sort of I guess behind I am fat cheers by Brenda Lozano six at night when Guadalupe came to tell me they had killed Paloma I'm here for it I'm here for it well I'm not here for obviously you know femicide but I'm here for how interesting this book sounds from the beginning and night shift then we have The Employees, a workplace novel of the 22nd century by Olga Rave. Rav, Rave? Sorry. It's not hard to clean them. It tells me nothing. It literally tells me nothing. I'm gonna say second from the bottom. History, a mess by Sigrun Palazdottir. This day after I was ready, I did eat my breakfast. Just ahead of Goodnight Mr. Tom. Desirable Body by Hubert Hadda. Soon, immortality will no longer hold any secrets for humankind. Think behind the Kate Moss one. Your children scattered by... I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher the, your name. It's that time of the day when peace ventures outside. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put it just behind that last one, the French one, by the way. We have three books from Morocco that I got, um, like, pre-owned because I need to do a Moroccan redemption for the fact I didn't read a Moroccan book in my Bookish World Cup. Uh, but the first is A Rare Blue Bird Flies With Me by Yusuf Fadel. On the morning of 10th of July 1971, General Mohamed Medibou and Lieutenant Colonel Mohamed Abadal Abadou led a convey of army cadets into the Shikrat Palace located on the Atlantic coast some 25 kilometers south of the Moroccan capital Rabat. <sighs> that is a lot of information. Uh, I think just ahead of the murder after the night before. Um, then we have A Country for Dying by Abdella Tai Tai I need to learn how to pronounce his name. He died young. I mean, who? From what? Why? You know, I think that's a good opener. Like it, it is. It tells you straight away that like I ain't messing around. I'm gonna tell you as it is, and um, I think that that's a that's a decent opening. I think it's behind just kids because it's a similar death theme um then we have also infidels by him nobody will come my man mm. so that good is it doesn't tell me really anything yes why nobody will come like what's happened i think just ahead of goodnight mr tom which you you don't know when that is i don't know why i'm just telling you that but when i show you the whole thing it will be better and then we have venom by sane sangsuk Evening was already near. Setting the tone, but it's not told me anything, really. Just ahead of the employees. The Spectres of Algeria by Huang Yao Jung. Um, this feels beautiful. This has such like, a nice like feel to it. I'm just like I just want to just continuously like touch it. It was probably late summer. I guess it says, like, you're, you're intrigued to be like, well, what happened then? Um, but honestly, it doesn't really tell me anything. Ahead of Mr. Tom, then we have Penance by Kane Manato. 
I cannot wait to read this. This sounds just really, really good. And I loved her book last year. So, um, yeah. Uh, it says, Dear Asako, thank you so much for attending my wedding the other day. Yeah, I think it's not too bad. I mean, it's alright. It's not really that much to it. But, yeah. The Glitter Boy. Green Equinox. <laughs> by Elizabeth Maver. Last night while you were asleep, I lay awake beside you planning your epitaph. Is that the thing that like you put on like a monument or something like when someone dies? Is that what it means? Yeah, I think that that's a that's a strong star. I like that. I like that a lot. Just behind witches near the top. Lady Chatterley's Lover by D. H. Lawrence. Okay, where is the start of this? Because there is a lot of introduction in this copy. Okay. As is essentially a tragic age, so we refuse to take it tragically. Ooh, I like that. I like that. It's like... Like, not... not it's like not pandering to the norms, I guess. Yeah, I like that. that. That was a good start, I think. Near the top ahead of Woman Warrior. And finally is Andrew McMillan's Pity. The neck curtain moved like a skirt as Alex ducked his head underneath to check the dark street. What's he checking? Why is it dark? Probably it's late. Yeah, I think that's just that's a it's decent enough. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Just behind one love. So I've done all, all of that now. Um, there is other books that I have got that I like. The, there's some that are up there, like you can't really see, but I think there's maybe like two or something that's in that pile. And then I have some other ones in the pile that like, I can't get to, um, but that's irrelevant. So I'm not going to put it up, I'm just going to film it and put that clip in now. I had one job to record the books and I forgot, literally I, fin I stopped recording. And I just started putting them away in their place. And then like five minutes later, I was like, oh, shoot. Oopsie daisy. So yeah, so there isn't actually all the list anymore, which is <laughs> no point of the video. But you saw the winner and that's all that matters. Bright, bright women was the worst, but yeah. Anyway. Enjoy the road ending. Best book was Notes from Childhood by Nora Lange. And quickly to say how it starts, flickering and joyous, broken by only a single night. The first journey we made from Buenos Aires to Mendoza emerges from my memory like a landscape recovered through a misted pane of glass. Sounds beautiful. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video um, and have a nice morning, even though night wherever you are in the world. I shall see you soon. Bye. Bye.